What's going on, my peoples? We are here. Oh, I'm just here at work, man. Um, here at this delivery, waiting for the receiver to check my product. And I just came to talk to you guys for a little bit. Now, what I want to talk about today, I want to talk about one thing that food service could do a better job on. And this is um, most of the companies, most of the companies that I talk to, most of the drivers that I talk to, you know? Food service can do a better job on drivers and sales rep having a better communication. To be honest with you, like, the drivers and the salesmen, we don't have no communication at all. Um, eventually, over time, you might be on a route and you might meet the salesman. You might exchange numbers, stuff like that. Because at the end of the day, if you're a good driver, you don't even got to be a good driver, but you can suck also. But some drivers, they're going to see opportunities out there for the... Um, not just for your route, not just for the company. Don't just think about the company making more money. You're gonna see opportunities for you to make more money because it's gonna be on your route. You might see a stop that's on your route. There's plenty of times where I, I see a stop and you know, I'll approach a customer, I'll be like, yo, what's up? Why are we not delivering there? And I'll tell the salesman about that stop. Or like for instance, I'm gonna give you an example of today. I made the delivery today and this particular product, I normally deliver like 50 cases of a particular product. And today I noticed that I only delivered one case. So right away, I texted the salesman that I keep, I keep a communication with um, one of the sales rep on my route. I texted him, I let him know, I'm like, yo, what's up? This don't look right. Um, this restaurant only got one product. You know what I mean? And right away, he can jump on it and he can take care of it and fix it. But in these food service jobs, man, I can't speak for every food service job. Um, I don't think they do a good enough job to let us have a communication with the sales rep. As a matter of fact, like when you look on the invoice and stuff like that, on the places that we're delivering to, we can't even like... All right, first of all, we don't have no numbers for the sales rep. If we need to communicate with a sales rep, we have to go through the office, right? And it's like a, it's like a, um, like say we have a problem, we gotta call the office, and we gotta be on hold, they gotta call the sales rep. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, it'll be better if we have that direct line of communication. I get it though, man, like, I know, I know what they're thinking. They're thinking that maybe the drivers and the sale rep, they'll get into it. You know what I mean? They might get into a disagreement or get into a fight or stuff like that. But at the end of the day, um, I look at it as, I look at it as, as something that'd be beneficiary. I don't look at it as something that's bad. You know what I'm saying? Because, um, we out here on these routes, man, and um, we pass a whole bunch of restaurants and stops, and we see a lot of companies going there, and we're not going there. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna be honest with you, like, you know, some drivers on this street route stuff, they might not have a problem with that, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I got a problem with that, man. Like, there's no reason for, um, me to keep passing all these restaurants and we see Cheney over there, we see Cisco over there, we see PFG over there, and we're never over there. I got a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? And um if you run in a route no matter who you work for and you a driver, I think you should have a problem with that too. You know what I mean? Like I think these sales rep, they do a good job, but guess what? They, they have room to be more aggressive. You know what I mean? We need to get out, go out there, man. We need to um, get these customers. Because at the end of the day, it's a competition, man. We got to do better in Cisco. We got to do better in um, PFG. We got to do better in 
McLean and all these companies out there, man. Because guess what? At the end of the day, we're competing for that customer. For that customer, it's a competition. At the end of the day, we get paid by the cases. You know what I'm saying? So it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be a barrier when it comes to drivers and sales rep communicating. And if if there's one thing I think that's wrong with food service. That's a major problem. You know what I mean, I don't know if y'all agree with me or not. You know what I mean? But I want to hear your comment on this one. You know what I mean? If you got a sales rep you can share this video with, share it with them. You know what I mean? Because I'm going to be honest with you, man. Sometimes I'm working and then you see this dude, they want to walk in the back of my trailer. And I'm like, yo, who are you with, partner? I never met you. Like, show, show some ID. Oh, I'm the sales rep. Like, bro, I don't know you. Show me some ID. Like, most of us don't even know the sales rep, yo. You know what I mean? At least have some meetings where we can meet all the sales rep. Some drivers been working at these companies for years and don't even know some of these sales reps. And I'm just being honest. You know what I mean? Yo. That communication, communication... It's important more than what y'all think. You get what I'm saying? So I want to hear from y'all today. Let me know what y'all think. All right. Shout out to all the drivers out there, all the salesmen out there. Hey, y'all need to start being more aggressive, man. We want these cases. All right. Be easy.